Today, we got our first proper deep dive into multiplayer for Forza Horizon 5, which I am very, very excited about indeed. We have got things from a Horizon Arcade, Horizon Tour, and even gift drops. I'll speak more about that later. Of course, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It would help me out. And of course, I'm gonna be covering everything Forza Horizon 5, so you're in the right place. Just before we jump into the multiplayer, though, we got to see something super exciting was our first look. You may have missed it because it was on the earlier Forza monthly stream. This is the first look at the garage, the brand new garage for Forza Horizon 5, and it looks so clean. I am gonna spend a lot of time in this place. I modify my cars a lot, and body kits my friends of course this porsche has a brand new body kit it looks fantastic honestly i am happy to see more body kits added to the game they did say there's a big focus on more body kits added to the game we get to look at the livery editor as well we can see all the new menus everything looks super clean super nice we basically now have an off-road kit which allows you to make the car suited for off-road the new off-road stat which is just down below as well so you can see how good the car is at off-roading but i just can't get over how good this looks i i completely missed this the first time around so i had to go back and look at the Forza monthly to see they did release some stuff early i was a little bit confused first things first is horizon arcade now this is going to return quite a few times throughout this video but essentially it is arcade fun in in Forza Horizon 5. The first one is Piñata Pop. We saw this in the trailer and essentially you go around and you smash piñatas and it's a collective effort. You try and smash all of these obstacles together and you avoid the ones that you're not supposed to hit. Smash all of them, you get rewards for doing so. Now, any of these Horizon Arcade challenges, they do have rewards, which are Forza Thon points. Forza Thon points, if you, in case you didn't know, you can use these on the Forza Thon shop, which is a feature that was in Forza Horizon 4. Super useful, and of course, you get rewards for doing it, so it's not just useless. Horizon Tour, which we didn't actually get to see very much of, if anything, at all, is a location you can basically go to, and it's now the renamed Adventure essentially for those of you who have no idea it is literally just kind of like speed lists on need for speed mode 20 2012 that version of speed list is the absolute best you'd basically do an event you drive to the next one you do that event and you can jump in with random people you can have friends in there you can make friends in there and to have anything like this is fantastic because in case you know i'm a huge fan of this why am i a huge fan of this because it's just the most natural and best way to do multiple player in an arcade racer in my opinion even like a sim racer i want more of this driving from event to event just gives me immense pleasure and we will see if we get any points for doing the actual extra step and driving to the event or just sitting there that was something that need for speed rewarded you and i would love to see it in this game forza horizon link is the new feature to basically go in the bottom corner and you can do things which is i mean pretty useful you can go through the menu and quick start things and it's kind it's just a new, it's a new menu to do things and it's very useful for when you are linking together with other players in the world you can message and so on that's what Forza Link is. Back again with some more Horizon Arcade, and this time we are doing Bullseye. Now, they didn't actually manage to do this very well on the stream. They struggled quite significantly because, fairly so, their car was a little bit slow. You hit the targets, and they actually, based on accuracy, so if you go right through the middle, you get more points than if you just hit the outer edge. And ultimately, you're trying to, once again, collect those Forza Thon points. Those four of them points can then be used to purchase special vehicles and special, I don't know, character outfits, dances, whatever tickles your fancy when the shop refreshes. So basically, you play these fun game modes, you get cool stuff. Horizon Open is the new take on Horizon Adventure. This is where you will find all of your normal racing online. They have changed it so it's not as aggressive as it was before. There was a lot of issues with it, especially when they made it a requirement to do that in the Forza Horizon Festival. Basically, they fixed the biggest issue that was there in Forza Horizon 4 when it was required for other people to do well for you to unlock the next car. They've removed that. So they've mixed in some single player, they've mixed in some team games, but ultimately, it's not as aggressive, it's more accessible, and they've improved it overall. I'm glad that they've actually done this. This is something that I really wanted them to add to Forza Horizon 4, but the fact it's here now, 
I don't mind. They did it. They, they Ultimately, they did it. So, of course, there is open racing, open drifting, playground games, and also the Eliminator, which, of course, has returned from the get-go. That's right. Right at the beginning of the launch of the game, you can play the Forza Horizon Eliminator straight away. And, of course, this map, speaking of Eliminator, Eliminator, is perfect for Eliminator. They clearly included the thought of Eliminator while crafting this map. Those high points, whether for drifting or whatever, the high points in the map clearly help the Eliminator game. More of that, please. More of that. So you start Eliminator in the Volkswagen Beetle, and actually during the Eliminator section, which they couldn't really do live, they actually pre-recorded some footage to show us to see what the Eliminator would actually be like when there's that many people, because they, they used all their testers, which is about 50 people, and they got to have a game and record some of the, the clips for us. Now, one thing that's super interesting is we actually got to see a lot more of the main city. We haven't seen much of the main city, including the tunnels in it, and it gives me serious Forza Horizon 2 vibes. I mentioned in, the, in previous that it reminds me of Forza Horizon 3 a lot. This area very much reminds me of Forza Horizon 2. Two, they kind of mixing the best, just not Forza Horizon 4 British place because no, <laughs> they're mixing the best of people's favorite horizons, including the new progression from the first game, the, the more progression from the first game, and also the more map inspired things from the, I guess, all from all three games at the beginning. What a crazy thing I've just realized. Jumping back in, in probably one of my absolute favorite things I have seen on this stream so far. This is the Forza Horizon Arcade once again, Mini Missions. Now, I don't know about you, but if you've seen this, instantly you can tell Burnout Paradise. That is what this is inspired from. Burnout Paradise had these incredible free burn challenges that you had to do. Do a thousand of them and you unlocked a special car. That's what I really want to see here. I would love there to be like small rewards included in this. Of course, you get Forzathon points again, which you can use on the Forzathon shop, which gives you exclusive things. So th there's some rewards there. But I would love some exclusive rewards for completing all of these challenges. All types of challenges, that would be awesome. Of course, it's like a collaborative effort from you and your friends or randoms, depending on who you are playing with. But as I said, very much Burnout inspired, and I am very happy to see that. And it's interesting because I imagine there's actually quite a few Burnout developers and it's been a long time since Burnout Paradise. So there's been so many games since then, people moving studios, everything. I am, I'm pretty sure there may be some Burnout people in here. There has to be, right? It just makes sense. And hopefully they were the ones to push this forward because clearly, in my opinion, Burnout Paradise, most 2012 are still like peak racing game multiplayer. Both of those games were made by Criterion many moons ago. And Criterion now is not the same Criterion, at least fully. Anyway, one of my favorite things. And also the Baja Circuit. This is actually the second racetrack. There is obviously an asphalt racetrack around the map, but the Baja Circuit looks incredible. I love the look of this thing. The banks are my absolute favorite feature about it. The banking looks mental. I'm gonna do my best to have like non-off-roady cars off-roading in this area. It looks so much fun and clearly they used the inspiration for the, the testing that they did with the LEGO expansion. Having the racetrack on the map, they used that. They tested it. That's what it was there for. To see, do people really want a racetrack on the map? No, we want two. And that's what they gave us. This Baja circuit looks awesome. It's inspired by real circuits based in the South, Southern Americas and of course Mexico. And they basically just crafted their own and they've done a, a great job. But now fun fact as well, there actually are some special playground games in this area as well, which just makes sense because it's a big playground area. And finally, the thing that I was waiting for the most, but I'm sorry to let you know, it's not quite what you think. This is gift drops. Now, you can gift cars in Forza Horizon 5. Super exciting, but you can't gift it to whoever you want. You are gifting it to particular people. That's right. You have to gift it to set people. These people, in case you didn't know, are the likes of new players, returning players, people that have lots of... You can see it on screen. You can't give it to anyone, and that is a shame. Now, I understand why that's a thing, because if you give things 
you give people full freedom to gift things to other players. That's going to cause websites that start paying for real cars and uh, fake cars and games and all that. Type. FIFA Ultimate Team basically will happen again. And that, that's not good. Honestly, they would just shut it down straight away. So this is a step. This is a step in that direction. I hope they expand on it. I would love, I'm definitely going to give some cars myself, but I would absolutely love the ability to gift cars to specific people. So say we have a challenge together, I can gift it to that person. Just, just, I don't care how complicated you make it. I want to gift cars to people that I know, okay? That is the thing. We could do pink slips. We could have so much fun with pink slips in Forza Horizon 5. But of course, right now, they're keeping it pretty safe. So there you go. That was the updates for Forza Horizon 5 this week. Hopefully, you did enjoy a little bit faster this week because I'm actually at home, which is pretty good. Thank you so much. Be sure to smash like. Subscribe if you are new. And let me know your favorite feature down below. Are you excited for the multiplayer? Because I know I am. Until next time, peace.